What's up guys? So right now it's 2, 3 a.m., almost 3 a.m. And I ended up sleeping a little too early and I have some time to kill before I go to school. So I decided I was going to make another tutorial video on some of the questions that you guys had regarding TOA Normal. And I'm probably going to be covering the, the floors that people are requesting, which was floor 80, floor 90, and 100. And I'm going to try and give you guys a farmable team that you can use for all those floors, pretty much throughout all of TOA. So just go ahead and, and stay tuned. But before we get into that, I wanted to do a predator or prey. And I found Forosnai, so I figured that we could probably do Forosnai, and then after that, I can go ahead and get started with that tutorial. So, for Forosnai, he's using Vermos, Praha, Eladrio, and Bernard. So, from experience, I know that his his Eladrio and his Praha are both on will runes. And the way his team works is his Bernard's gonna move first. He's gonna buff the attack bar and increase the speed. And the Praha's gonna move next. And she's gonna try and dispel all my units. And then once that happens, they'll possibly get a stun. And Veramos will move next and he'll stun. And the team works good against slow comps where you're, you're single target attacking uh, the enemy. Right when you use like like Bella Veramos comps because it, it wins through just wearing you out with with the whole Praha and Eladrio just keep reviving and, and removing buffs from Veramos. But it also works against speed comps because of the dispel, the quick dispel that's gonna happen from Praha. So it could interrupt your combo and then even if you wipe everyone, it tends to leave the Eladrio behind, which will revive someone. So there's two ways I could go about it. I'm definitely going to practice my speed clearing. I could either opt to go... I'm, for sure I'm going to use my two um, speed clear monsters, which is going to be Alicia and Amir, and of course paired with Galleon. So I can either choose to try and remove his buffs, which are the will runes on the Eladrio and the Praha, etc. Or I can choose to use Anavel in the hopes that He's gonna be faster, and if I do get stunned, the Anavel can bring my team back, right? So, just judging by the speed of his monsters, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that his his team is probably gonna be faster. So, by the time that I use my by the time that I use my Aquila, he's gonna all the the will runes are gonna be gone anyways. So. I might as well just try and use Anvil. If I if I don't kill him, we'll try it again with Aquila. Alrighty, so okay, his Praha derped, which seems to be more common these days. I think they need to fix the AI on on Praha. So like I said, all these guys moved. The will runes are gone. He still has shield runes. I, I totally forgot about the shield runes. Okay. Oh, well, there's the the late predicted future. But now we can move, right? And then we have a violent proc. So I think I'm going to go ahead and push back Vermos in case he moves. Right? Okay, now I have my second skill available because I killed Vermos. And then I can finish with Amir. So that's Ferocenai pretty much in one one turn of movement except with the Praha moving that second time but that's pretty much it so that's it for the Predator of Prey if you want to stick around we'll go ahead and cover TOA normal next alright so <clears throat> the next thing we want to cover is TOA normal and just a disclaimer this is not how I do TOA normal if you guys want to see how I speed clear it, I have a couple videos from a couple days ago when I when I rushed. But this is gonna be for the guys that that are getting stuck on on the boss floors or any any floor for TOA normal. This is gonna work most of the time on auto. 
but I'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cover it anyways all right so I first off I use Veramos so all the monsters in here are either farmable or obtainable I use Veramos he's there to cleanse my team he has some stuns these are his stats okay you don't need like crazy stats for TOA normal but they're, they're gonna be around the same stat requirements as Dragon's B10 so around 165 speed and at least 20,000 HP so Bella he's gonna be your main healer we have Beretta who's a staple in all of your TOA pretty much TOA normal and hard and then we have your stats we have Bernard these are stats don't worry if you see like these crazy stats like well, plus 176 speed whatever you'll do fine okay so and then we have sig okay so that's pretty much it i just wanted to go over the stats so that because i know you guys are going to ask in the questions what are my stats for this team or whatever so that's how we do it okay so not to bore you guys i'm just going to go ahead and auto here when in the beginning don't get me wrong if if you're fresh to the game maybe you just hit 40 maybe you just got these units they're not really ruined up well you're, you're probably not going to be able to auto on your first like you know your first run or whatever but you'll be when you get the stats you're going to keep farming in the meantime as time goes by you'll, you'll be able to auto it more and maybe you might be able to auto it from 1 to 70 or maybe 1 to 60 and then as you start to pick up you'll find that it's really easy to pick up if you if you're failing because you're doing it on auto you'll probably you'll do fine if you do it on on manual just because a team it has all the elements you need it has a good damage dealer it has multiple sources of dots it has a healer it has a speed buffer plus an attack bar booster you got armor break you have stuns Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what we do with this team. It's actually been a really long time since I did TOA normal with, you know, regular TOA normal monsters. So, yeah. Well, my Sig is like hella squishy, so I don't know if she's going to make it through all this on auto to be honest but again the good thing about this team is it's not only like a boss floor team it's a it's pretty much a TOA 1 through 100 team okay okay so the strategy for this is you're gonna want to and I'm speaking not on the speed clearing guys if you have a speed clear team you could even do it with this team you can go straight for the boss, but for here, for these, for this purpose, I'm gonna start targeting the the cases is first, okay? So the general strategy is you want to you want to hit both of the the sylphids, and then you can start moving on. It's up to you. Like if you, if you feel like you can take the boss at any point, you can start moving on the boss. But for the most part, you're gonna hit the cases for sure reset that attack bar on the boss you don't want him hitting you especially when he has the attack and defense buff so if you have the opportunity go ahead and remove that buff and then finish off these guys so, so as you can see these guys are dead or this this um sylphid he's dead so we can start moving on on this one um yeah we just use this Oh, I didn't remove the buff. Oh god. That's gonna hurt. Can I get a turn? Can I still turn? Yeah. So I'm I'm pretty much like I, I said in the other video, I'm going off basically whatever you guys whatever you guys are asking me to do because like with school and everything, I, I can't even I don't have time to brainstorm. 
and I think it's 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 actually a good thing because I'm not putting out videos that you guys don't want to see. It's it's actual stuff that you guys request. So, and I want to I want to be able to cater to all levels of of gameplay. I don't want to just be like end game material. You know, this is all I can cover. So, oh no, can we get a violin proc? Okay, so my Beretta died. I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention. Mm, yep, yeah, he's dead. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have started to move on onto the, the Chi Wu instead. And start putting on attack breaks and, and defense, defense break. We, we actually can just go for him. As soon as you take care of the Megans, because the Megans aren't going to do much damage to you, right? So anyways, that was floor 80. We'll move on to floor 90 now. Using the same team. And again, we can just auto here for the most part. I'm trying to stick to as like free to play as possible so that... I don't, I don't get like can you replace this guy with with that guy or do I need to have a, a reviver etc do I need bird so this way at the very least I can get people started off with TOA normal with farmable monsters or at least obtainable so that you know it's at least these monsters are all monsters you're gonna use at some point in the game somewhere else whether it's Dragons, Giants, Arena, even Raids. At least you have, you know, you won't regret building any of these monsters. Like, for a new new player who's watching like a TOA hard video and then you see Basalt, it's, it's not exactly on your, your priority list if you haven't even, if you haven't built monsters like, you know, Veramos or, or Bella so at least these monsters are, are monsters that you can either work on or monsters that that should be worked on sometime and if you haven't built them then you probably should stop the video go ahead and and build those monsters before even attempting it because it's it's too often that I see people attempt to to do floors that are like beyond their skill level or even TOA and, and they're not capable of doing it yet so don't don't rush it if you can't do it there's there's so many things you can do that's going to actually help you in the end like farming more more dragons or farming more more giants for the spare runes and you're going to be happier because you're going to have stronger units and you're also going to have the ability to clear toa without you know wasting a hundred to five hundred energy okay so for this floor you're the main priority is you need to take care of these monkeys and then you need to take care of these yetis and then you need to take care of the the Artemil. but the wind yetis if they buff I don't know how it is on normal because I, I usually speed clear it but on TOA hard if these yetis buff it's, it's game over because any of these guys that hit you are gonna kill you and for those of you guys who are just watching this video starting off that that haven't hit it before these things are probably gonna hit as hard as it hits me on TOA hard so just a fair warning you need to hit the monkeys if you don't if they're not stunned because if you hit anyone else they'll revenge okay so we got the monkeys and as you can see on the left side the monkey on the left and the Yeti on the left are stunned which means I should hit this Yeti since the only person that's gonna counterattack me is gonna be that Artemil right so we reset his attack bar and then we can use this it's an attack break which is nice and then we just hit this guy oh see that's the yeti buffed and now we might be in for some big big trouble so we're gonna heal up here lay some dots we stun that monkey again which is good Okay, so dots are going to be your best friend here. We can dot that monkey ASAP, then we'll do fine. And, and the key here in, in TOA, really, I think is knowing 
the fight before you actually get to it which is why tutorial videos that explain what happens are are really helpful because if you if you end up fighting it, it's not usually a matter of the boss is hard it's a matter of you don't know what 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 happens so the first time that you spend you know energy trying to do it is you end up you end up spending so much energy just trying to figure out how it works and then when you finally figure out how it works then oh no my sick died when you finally figure out how it works then you can you can complete it pretty easily you know what I mean so if I show you what happens here then you guys should be able to complete it fine oh man <laughs> this is brutal I may have to do a take two on this especially I don't even have a heal blocker so I just go for the monkey that's not stunned so that you know in case it starts to go ham I can I don't get hit by by the monkey that's awake or whatever not stunned Okay, so we got that. Now the only one who's who's revenging us is gonna be the the Artemil. I'm like a TOA normal noob now. I haven't I haven't done this in so long. Speed clearing is, is like really bad too because you you start to like forget the mechanics and everything. <laughs> and when you get to teams like this it makes it seem like you only know how to do it with uh, with monsters that are like OP TOA hard mons right <laughs> okay so reset this guy and I believe after this we should be able to auto even though we don't have a heal block because we're gonna be doing a lot more damage than we would on hard so you can tell when he has the heal available up in the right hand corner when that skill right here is up so he has the heal available so he'll probably heal any moment now as soon as we get him to maybe about half life there you go that's the annoying thing So we have like X amount of turns to be able to to punish him. So you need to make sure that your damage output, if you don't have a heal block, you need to make sure that your damage output is sufficient enough that it's going to get the job done so that when he does heal, it's, it's not like he didn't get anywhere. You know what I mean? So he's probably going to, he's going to get another heal in. And if I had my Sig, he'd be dead. But in this case, he happens to um, he'll be able to heal, but it won't be as as big of a a full heal. You know, he'll still have some some damage on him by the time that he does heal. Yeah, so that's what happens when you get careless and you lose Sigmaris, who's not essential to winning, but it's essential to getting the job done fast. Which is why you bring him. And Beretta's turbulence really helps with this too because he can reset the attack bar so that he doesn't get, especially when he's full, he can't get that, that full heal off. Alrighty, so that was floor 90, and I don't know if we're going to even be able to do floor 100 with that. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Lilith. <laughs> Hope this one doesn't take too long. So here, I think it's worthy of talking about... Oh, I can't use Beretta, what am I doing? We're going to quit here because this is going to take too long. But yeah, it's worthy to talk about the the beginning stages. I 
I think maybe it's you know maybe floor 100 is better in another video it might take too long but we'll give it a shot I don't want to take too long doing this but yeah like I said it's worthy of it's worthy of doing or talking about these these beginning floors so what you want to do is you want to go for the anvils first because the anvils the anvils will cleanse using a skill right but the the junos they if you put more than one their passive states that if you put more than one debuff on them they're gonna go and cleanse it plus heal so if you don't have a heal block it's just a pain in the you know what so we need a way to deal with them super fast so that they don't they don't have those two debuffs on them when you're trying to kill them All right so this is a, a stage that gives a lot of people it's not hard it just it's super annoying for them because you know they keep adding debuffs because that's the whole point of TOA right is to be able to debuff the boss but then when they add these debuffs it doesn't you know kill kill the Juno and then they just revive you'll see right here watch see so people are like oh how do I how do I deal with this so the trick is kill them before they can heal up so that's where Sigmaris is going to come into play. You want Sigmaris to to basically one-shot them when there's armor break on them. Okay, so next we have the Veramos stage. The Veramos, okay, these guys are not going to violent proc on you, so don't be afraid. And then also, don't get caught up in... You're probably going to be so used to, on the first floor, trying to avoid double debuffing people because you think that what's your face you think that that Juno is gonna gonna remove the buffs and and heal up don't that happens to me all the time especially when I'm doing hard and then I, I'm always scared to to debuff anymore right so yeah just don't get caught up in that that's my tip to you and just go for the Arias first the Arias are gonna do the most Oh, I didn't do my my speed buff thing, but yeah, the Aryas are gonna do the most the most annoying things to you. So just avoid the the Aryas. I mean, not avoid them, but you know what I mean. Kill them, kill them before they kill you. Okay, so and then make sure that you before you get to any of the boss stages. This goes for anything. Just if you already got the guy killed, just just use up all your skills, your first skill. Don't use your, your third and second skills because you want them off of cooldown before you, you know, before you get into the boss stage. So, I'll probably be covering the, the mechanics in a TOA hard video, but basically there's three colors. There's a green one, there's a blue one, and there's a red one. The red one revenges, the green one is... A healer it heals every time it attacks and the blue one is anti crit when they're stunned the passives don't work whatever color is not there so red's not here is the color that's in Lilith and that's the ability that she has so she has the red one right now that means every time I hit Lilith she's gonna revenge okay so the attack order for me if if at any point in time just in general the attack order for me is green, red, blue. So I don't see red over here. So I will go for green first and then I'm going to go for blue. So, and you have five turns over here to kill the boss. You want, I mean, you have five turns to kill these images. If the images die, the images are done. I mean, she, the boss is done. She ends up stunning herself. And if she stuns herself, you have like a turn or whatever her passives don't work and you can just spam her and kill her so anyways enough talking I'm just gonna show you how I do it so stun both of these guys the passives are not working we're gonna go for the green dots are gonna be your best friend here 
if you have units like Zyros or or um, Beretta, they work real nice here because you can deal a lot more damage than through dots than with normal attacks, right? So, anyways, we're just gonna hit the crap out of her. So as you can see, she moved. There's four turns left. I have four turns to be able to kill her, kill these images. Okay, so if you look at the green one, it looks like it's okay. Yeah, it is dead. <laughs> Anyways, we move for the green one or the blue one. Okay, we're getting stun here. No, speed buff, heal up, and if you have turbulence, go ahead and turbulence during this time because it gives you more time to kill the images. But you want to make sure that her attack bar is at least half full so you're making the, the most bang out of your buck. Okay, so that's a dead, that's pretty much a dead, uh, a dead image. So... So we got that attack break from Sigmaris, which is really nice. And from here, when, when they're stunned, this is not going to be the case for you, but for me personally, I like to auto because I know my team usually has enough sustain to handle with with the turns that you're going to get from Bernard and Bella. It's you're, you're going to have a good shot. The only thing to be like scared about, like as you can see right now, is if she has the red image in her. It's possible that that your units are unviolent and they might go a second time and you know they might oh shit see god damn it I wasn't paying attention I just rushed it I was trying to explain so here you're gonna see she's gonna revenge me and she's gonna kill that sig which is bad but anyways we'll carry on you shouldn't do that that should be a point you shouldn't use you shouldn't auto if she has the red one because you never know what's going to happen if your unit's violent proc or if they're they're low health or your ai your bella doesn't heal up when you're low etc so yeah because now we're going to be screwed if if she busts out her image and we don't have a damage dealer to take out those images real quick but it was just to show you guys the mechanics and a team that's going to work for you for, for all the floors anyways. So don't even worry about it if Sig dies. He's really squishy. I showed you his stats. He's probably only about a couple couple thousand more HP than, than normal. So that's about it, guys. I just wanted to, to be able to cover this because I know I get this question a lot, how to do these floors. And then I tell them what I use and then people get depressed. And then at least this way, like I said, these are units that you can get and these are units that you should be working on in the first place. You know what I mean? So we just go for the, the image here. We don't care about the other images because she's almost dead. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We're super close to 1000 subscribers. It's going to be crazy. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.